Base metals took a fresh pounding on Tuesday's sessions here on the floor of the London Metal Exchange. All of the metals slipping deeper into negative territory. Copper fell to a five-week low, but nickel bore the brunt of the downturn. It fell to its softest level since July 2009. Sentiment started slipping on Friday after US figures came out better than expected. While this was good for the US economy, it did mean that traders became increasingly concerned that the US Fed will now start to ease back on monetary easing measures, which would be bearish for the complex. Additionally, we had some data coming out over the weekend from key player China. This came out mixed. Growth was not as strong as expected, and this has also dampened concerns, particularly in terms of metal demand. Going forward into today then, and traders have said that several key levels had been taking out today. The market had been trying to push higher in the last couple of weeks, failed to do so. Sentiment now has taken a more southerly direction, become increasingly bearish, and with little in the, good, in the way of good news, prices continue to fall lower. And traders have said we may see if copper breaks under $7,000 per tonne, we could see levels of $6,800 per tonne. At the moment, copper last changing hands around $7,060 per tonne, holding around five weeks lows. We saw a slight increase in warehouses today, but mainly it's due to poor sentiment for the reduction in prices. Other metals, we saw nickel hit its weakest level since July 2009, when it slumped to just $14,515 per tonne, has edged up higher since then, last changing hands around $14,600 per tonne, still in negative territory and not helped by the fact that we saw increases in LME warehouses today and these levels are now at a fresh all-time high. Aluminium and zinc have both fared well in the past week, however we're not immune to the downturns, both these metals traded negatively, despite the fact that we saw aluminium warehouses today show an increase in cancelled warrants when Visingen upped its metal foot for removal by over 24,000 tonnes. For the rest of the day then we've got little in the way of data releases scheduled for release, so markets are expected to remain technically led, could see a choppy day session as we head towards the close. This is Kathleen Matorno for Fast Markets, on the floor of the LMA.